uh, let's see, I think that included, that included Elks Drive also, a big part of that. And we just the environmental documents. So hopefully we'll get comments back and get the final plans to do at the end of the month. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? No, I don't know what else. I can't use this in this agenda. Yeah, it's just, it's just project updates. It's a little bit of um, that they don't know the rest of the tractors, but that's not something that has to be taken care of. Nobody knows what that strip line thing is about. Well, that's the ones on three that they yeah. did, yeah, so they were talking, he was talking about uh, visiting with the individual that we had to do it because he had a little bit of crawl work left to do to see what he could get up and do it, but I haven't, I haven't heard yet. So I be next summer. I would guess. I think that was pretty much it on that. Nothing else there then? Okay, let's move into unfinished business then with the special on insurance. We have two proposals here. Uh, Candy, you got input there? Since it's so late in the year, I would just like to see for 2020 going forward just to leave that portion with Bremer and then review it earlier in the year instead of the middle of November. Okay. Any more shot? That's yeah, let's do it. I'll make that motion then. So this is just to continue for one year, and then yeah. next year we'll we'll take and a full look at it again. Just bring it to the table sooner than. Yeah, and then we talk, when we visited the board, we said kind of try to get it maybe mid year if we can, yeah. so we can we can uh, yeah. put it into the budgeting process essentially, which I think yeah. makes sense. So I'll second that. Okay, we have a second. Motion and a second on leaving the insurance with Bremer Insurance. And then the other portion of it is. Let's, um, let's take care of this motion first. Okay. Sorry. So is this for all the insurance portion? No. Let's just this do is this. just for what we have. Let's just right. do this. Okay. Yep. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carried. Now we're talking about the one that the insurance reserve is taking. Yeah. And we don't have to renew this until the 1st of July, is that correct, Andy? That's when the change takes place. Okay. But the longer that the North Dakota Insurance Reserve has to work with that agent, the better. Okay. Any thoughts on that, what we should do here? Should we put it off until after the first of the year and then address it. What do you think of that, Candy? Oh, I mean, that's fine. You know, then it would give you time to look over the letters and read everything. Mm -hmm. and well, and I think each of them had a different idea of what they could do to either enhance or save the county some money, so. Yeah. I guess I'd like to hear from them a little bit. Maybe we should try to bring them in, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. And it, it all goes through the insurance reserve, so I, I think it's coverage, if we have enough coverage, because it's buildings, everything in the buildings. Well, when, when is the, so previously when we were working with the fire and tornado now is running to enter, enter. So, did they come in and then do an overlook of the building and give us an idea of what we needed for insurance coverage? So, I think it would be beneficial to talk with the different agents and see who is capable of handling that oversight because we we're, we should have an assessment of you know what our coverage level should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they haven't done it for a few years, because obviously the cost of replacement on something is yeah. goes up over year over year. And I don't have a clue to replace yeah. something of this size, but it would not be cheap, obviously. 
And all we had to do was take updated pictures of buildings, email. And then they would just kind of and, shoot you a number off. I mean, it's all based off of square footage and yeah. contents and everything like that. But yeah. Still wouldn't hurt to have a, a total overlook. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion for, for now we table the, okay. that portion of the insurance and we, we pick it up, uh, I don't know. Mid-January? I would say uh, January. Yeah, January 1, probably. Okay. We can schedule trying to get the uh, different agents that put the things together, proposals together to come in at this point. Second. Okay. Have a second? Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. Uh, let's do it with Apple for the next one. Motion to approve. A motion on the offer for the next one. A motion to second, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. And let's do the billing for NDSU. Who to approve? Extension. Second. I have a motion to approve. Second. I think we should have some discussion there for four minutes. Bless you. Bless you. Should we, yeah, should we talk about it? I mean, it, not to discuss on that. No, there isn't. Okay, we have a motion and a second. No other discussion? Roll call. Wakefield? Aye. Olson? Aye. Frith? Aye. Lightbond? Aye. Brown? Aye. Anybody has announcements? Any announcements? Yeah, there you go. Know. I'll, I'll fill up with uh, 30 seconds, maybe. Go ahead. Um, if anybody's interested, the uh, North Dakota Human Services is going to be having an open meeting about mental health services in the area. Chris Jones and his staff are going to be here Friday morning at the Great American Inn at 8.30 to like 10 or 10.30, like that. So if you got some free time, stop by, chip in a little bit. Let them know that we're obviously concerned about trying to access more services in our community. So that's something that we have to do. Okay. Any other announcements? Susie has one there. Yeah, I, since we have a couple minutes on the sure, chamber, I just thank wanted you. to say thank, thank you, you. Um, especially to Roger. He came in early on Tuesday to get everything cleared out for Veterans Day for our holiday showcase. And it went off really great. So I just wanted, since we had time, wanted to say thank you yeah. on behalf of that. And give a kudos to Roger because he was a big help. Big help. So, yes. Awesome. Yeah. So. I don't know if he's watching the YouTube. But... <laughs> we'll tell him. Yeah. We'll tell him. I'll tell him. Thank you. Everything went pretty good, I heard on the radio. Yes. Eric had a good report. I think we had about 500 that came through. 500. Very nice. Good. Hey, nothing else? Ice fishing yet? No. <laughs> no. It was on the way and then it warmed up again. Good. Yeah. I was ice fishing yesterday. Yeah, well, I'm still right here. Got you today? No. Like Jack and I? <laughs> yeah. Any other announcements? Your last chance to see a thoroughly modern Millie yes. that yeah. was like Firebird players. I thought the college was good. Nice. Yeah, yes. so, yes. so, so, yeah. Great. Looks fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah. My wife is actually going tonight. So, yeah. Yeah. so we'll my wife in the Pretty good play, huh? They know they asked me. I'm not sure they those. Yep. I went last week. Yeah. Get some pictures. Oh, it's Saturday. Actually, I went Wednesday. Oh, you guys have to go to the preview. <laughs> they'll let you take pictures. That's special. <laughs> yeah. Just the uh, high school kids. Oh, man, they're dynamite. Really? Yeah. yeah. Better than any, any show that we've done on Fort Totten. Yeah. Very interesting. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wonderful job. Who's the director? Oh, I'd say probably Peter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there a couple of them? Peter Foss. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This is the last name. Yep. Yep. What? Seven o'clock. This is a full host last name. Justin will be a full host tonight. They've had good Facebook reviews. So if you buy a vehicle tonight, make sure to drive it straight to the high school. College. 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 Okay. Live 45. We're going to tackle the lodging and restaurant tax ordinance. Uh, is there any comments on it? Um, everything looks good. It's exactly what's laid out in the century code. <coughs> Anything else? Okay. Uh, Section 1, comments from the crowd? Anybody here to protest it or in favor of it? Will any of those taxes go to the township for Romans? Probably not. No, probably not. They, they, they have specific usages uh, allowed through Century Codes. That's something we're going to, at least in my opinion, continue to work on trying to get through so we can hopefully gather some money like that so we can push it back out to the townships. But it's something that has to be changed legislatively, so we're going to have to keep working on it. Yeah, I mean, and, and then I, we've, we've had discussions about this, especially when we were talking about home rule. Um, you know, when, when people come, we love to have people come for recreational reasons, right? It brings money to the economy. But they drive on our roads, they use our infrastructure, and they don't contribute to that. And that's where something like a restaurant or a lodging tax would work really well for that. But unfortunately, we're hamstrung from doing that right now. Can these numbers mirror the city of correct? On what their rates are? One, uh, I, I have to go I just heard one thing Susie forwarded the email to me that was in favor. Uh, other than that, I haven't heard anything else other than that one. I have nothing. Um, no objections? No. Uh, yeah, I took the time to go and speak to a couple of people that operate uh, restaurants out in, in the county, and, and they all said it was no problem to them. Yeah. One thing I would say is, uh, like we stated when we talked about it at the first hearing, is I think we should put some, and we can make language changes at this point still, correct? Just yeah. to make sure. I put some language in at the end of section four that says that we're going to uh, split the terms so that we stay in So every two years, somebody else will cycle oh. on. So then it's not two at the same time. So I have some language to add that I put together today. Okay. Um, yeah. It would be. Uh, so the last sentence in per currently reads: The Ramsey County Board of or the Ramsey County Board of County Commissioners shall make two appointments to the Visitors Committee, each with four-year terms. Then it would be comma except that one appointment must be for an initial term of two years. Period. Vacancies must be filled in the same manner as the initial appointment. And that's all I think. Um, point two: one for two years and one for. Yep. So we'll appoint two to start with, one for two years, one for four, and then. And then they'll be stated, so every two years we'll put somebody on them. So it's, we're not always appointing two people at the same time. It'll, I think it's good for a couple of reasons. One, you don't have to find two people every right. time. And you're always constantly rotating somebody, hopefully new on. You know, it's different yeah. Yes, <coughs> if you can read my chicken scratch. People at large, and just from the public, is that what you're talking about? Not necessarily, well, not at large. It can be anybody that wants to sit on it, especially essentially. But we're going to have that just like we have on all the other outside committees to say on who sits on it. Okay. Uh, not to say we, the commission going forward will have that. Okay. Anything else to talk about there? No objections? Now the formality of passing it. Uh, that, that Adam added, and I would 
also add to that motion that at the next regularly scheduled county commission meeting, we have our third and final hearing on this ordinance. Uh, that would be December 3rd, is that correct? Um, yeah, Supposed to be, yeah. yeah. 8.30? Yep. Okay. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second for that effect. Any other discussion? Comments? All in say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> no, we can just get the foreclosure We can do the foreclosure sale. Yeah. We're going to on that. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And it was fun that she didn't put a time on that one. Okay. Okay. Well, that was Interested in a notice of foreclosure on real estate? We just put it on the list. Then. Or if there's anyone that's interested in a particular piece, let's try Creole Township first. We won't go through the parcel number. It's in Strummy Brothers Edition and the minimum bid. Price is, sale price is $100. Anybody interested in that parcel? Okay, nine. Next was in Popular Grove Township. Uh, we're in Lot 10, Orange Edition, second sub. $100 there? Yes. Okay. Bid there. We're going to raise and bid. No raise. Okay. Do we have your name? Connie Burville. But it, I'm, I'm putting it in a different name. I'm bidding, but it'll be in a different name. Can I? Yeah. Okay. okay. Nathan, I'll help you with that. Okay. We have that taken care of. City of Devil's Lake, lot 7, 8, block 26. $10,000 is the bid, minimum bid, sale price. People interested in that? Nobody? Okay. We'll go into the next one in Double Lake City, lots 8 and 9, block 157, 2375 is the minimum bid. Anybody interested in that? Okay, nobody there, then we'll move on to the City of Edmore, lot 8, block 4. $175. Anybody interested there? Okay, we'll move into the next one in Edmore. Um, block 26, half, etc. home edition. $225. Anybody interested in that one? Okay, we'll move into uh, Edmore again. Lot 7, Block 1. $800. Nobody interested? Okay, let's go to Edmore City again on Lot 14, Block 36. $150. Nobody's interested? Okay, we have a number of them been locked. Is anybody interested in the ones in lot? We got five more minutes to kill. <laughs> we have one here. Okay. Could you could you tell me which one you're interested in? Well, lots one through three, block two, first addition to East Lawton. 
Okay, lot three, block two, east. Okay, for five hundred and twenty-five dollars. Looks like two thousand. Two thousand dollars. <coughs> yeah, that's two thousand. Oh, okay, lots one and two. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. You're interested in that one. Right. Okay. Anybody want to raise that? Years. Okay. Talk to Nathan and give him the information. <coughs> what, I know we should put a name on it. What's your name? Uh, Lewis Weber. Okay. <coughs> okay. And you're not interested in any other ones a lot. <coughs> Nobody else is. Okay, it takes us down to Starkweather. Lot 6, Block 45. $3,550. No interest there. Nobody interested, okay. So we moved two of them up. <laughs> I'll work on it. There's some of those ones on last year, too. So they they just continue. Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's more pressure moving out of that area than I do it. Yeah. They just stay on the list Oops. until they're sold. Oh. So then I need a motion to accept them. Okay. Stay through a second. Second. So you get that all written down? Yep. Sounds good. So motion and a second. Yeah. Other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Susie's aware of it. She she yeah. helped uh, organize and and we have people that uh, make sure that we have somebody down there to accept the award and, and we'll probably make a, a bigger formal presentation at maybe with their uh, one of their meetings or one of our meetings locally. So but, uh, well deserving award. If, uh, they do a lot of work to help maintain public access to our and our resource that we have here, so big kudos to them. Thank you for all their hard work. Yeah. I will. Okay, with that, we'll move into the uh, surplus auction. First one on the list is the 034 Expedition. Uh, 
And the high bid is Mark Swan with $500. Are we going to set a limit on how much I have to raise it? Or? Dollar. Dollar. <laughs> 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 no pennies. No, no pennies. The only ones that can bid are the ones that can bid. The only ones that can bid are the ones that can bid. The only ones that can bid are the ones that can bid. Make sure everybody's in the room. Hey, what's your name? Jeff Reed, you're on. Please give me five. Yeah. Yeah. Angela Hurley, you're on at $100. Dave yeah. Henner, you're on for 100 And Robert Bennett is on for 100 And the top bid is $500 for the 034 expedition. Does anybody want to raise the $500? I'll do six. Okay. Six. 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 And, and you said the minimum bid amount would, you said a dollar? One dollar. Like you can't go like 301. No, no. Yeah. Three, three hundred dollars and one penny. Like, right. Yeah. But remember we're on the camera, so don't embarrass yourself. Okay, we're at six hundred dollars. Thank you, Andrew. Seven. Seven. Thirteen Ford Explorer. Levin's on at a thousand dollars. Mark Swan is on at five hundred. Cliff is on at three fifty. Jeff Kenner is on at a hundred. Thousand dollars top bid. Twelve. Got twelve hundred. Okay, a 93 Chevy K25 pickup. Cliff's on at 350, Dennis Green's on at 350, Greg Marshall's on at 100, Jeff Kenner's on for 100, and Robert Bennett is on for 100. 350 is top bid at, it's a tie between Dennis and Cliff. 375. 
600. 600. 700. Nielsen is at 500, <coughs> Kirk Reed is at 350, Angela Herta is at 100, and Jeff Kenner is at 100. 500 is the top bid. Mr. Fieldson has to be here. Is that correct? I mean, you have to be here. I, I asked if he wanted someone. So doesn't that just mean that anybody has to beat him by a dollar in theirs? Yeah. He has yeah. Bid nobody else so yeah, so if top. anybody bids 501 or higher, then you get it. Okay, 500 is the top bid. Well, the others have not. Well, sure, I, yeah. I know, but I'm saying if nobody else does bid. Okay. Six. Okay. 600. 600. 600. 700. 700 is the animal. Eight. 800. Junior. What's the bid? 800. 800. Okay. Huh? What is it? Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine hundred. Thousand. Ten thousand of junior. What is this? Thousand. Eleven. Eleven hundred. Twelve. Twelve hundred. Forget it. Hmm. You're out. Nobody else? Toyota and Barry Gage is at $112. Mark Swan's at $500. Cliff Reed's at $350. Deringer is at $500. Blanchfield's at $100. Aaron's is at $500. Jeff Kenner's at $100. Got lots of people here. $500 is top bid with three people on it, though. $600. Got $600. $600. Got $600. Seven. Seven? Quarter. Eight. Eight hundred? Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Eight seventy five. Five hundred. Nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. Thousand bucks. Anybody else want to bid? Nobody else? Thousand bucks. Toyota. OA Chevy Malibu. <coughs> Mr. Levin's on at 600. Mr. Gage is on at 112. The Freed's on at 200. Deringer is on at 400. Aaron is on at 500 and Kenner is on at 100. As we're looking at the uh, 600 from Leland. Top bid. Seven. Who said seven? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Eight? Okay. Leland. Leland, okay. Nine. 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 for uh, $1,100. Okay, now we're on the 
five Chevy Corolla. Junior's got a hundred dollars bid, and Kenner's got a hundred dollars bid. A tie bid. Somebody got a bid. One fifty. One fifty. Don't need that one. <laughs> Good reason not to hold it, huh? <clears throat> Jeff, you got it for 150. Okay, at 14 Ford. Explore. Our swan's on at 500, Cliff's on at 355. Beckwich is on at 300, Jeff Kenner's on at 100, and Bannett is on at 100. Top bid, Mark Swan at 500. Six. 600. Six